Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Crisis on Infinite Earths. Also, we're going to be talking about some photos from the Flash and a few other things. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Supergirl is back on tonight. We're having a new episode. There is a sneak peek online for episode 4. So, come back tomorrow, and we will be doing a review for that and a trailer breakdown for episode 5. But anyway, so let's get into today's theories. It's a theory video mainly. So we're going to talk about Crisis first and talking about, you know, Oliver and Barry dying. So, we know that Oliver is supposed to die in this crossover. And, massive spoiler alert, according to some leaks from Canada Graphs, everyone in a massive battle scene shouts for Oliver. So, like he's dead or like he's gone away somewhere, right? So he's been taken somewhere. So... We're supposing Oliver is still going to die in this crossover. I'm not sure how the last few episodes of Arrow is going to go. You know, Oliver is definitely going to return somehow. But that's, you know, another topic to talk about. But Oliver is going to die. But the Flash must die. And that is the way for everyone to survive. The Flash must die. That is the way that Barry has to sacrifice himself. Because that's what the monitor said. And so... Right now, it's on the right track, and Barry is set to die in December. He is building up to that, he's training his team and everything like that. So it all seems to be like it's going that way, right? But you have to think of it from a logical standpoint. They're not going to kill off Barry. They might kill him off for an episode, they might make him disappear for an episode or two, but they're not going to get rid of Grant Gustin. He's the series lead after all, it's all about him, right? So they tried that with Flashpoint, they only stuck with that for one episode with Wally instead, and, you know, it happened various times, like at the end of season 3 when Barry went missing, then we had Barry not there for like, you know, the first episode until the end, but they're not going to do that, right? So somehow the Flash is going to go missing, he's going to die, right? That's what's supposed to happen. However... If you go back to episode 1, I do believe it's when they revealed it, the Monitor revealed it to Barry and Iris, he said, Flash must die. He didn't say Barry must die, so this is where my theory comes in, and I've been thinking about this for a while. What happens if Oliver becomes the Flash again? Because Elseworlds, he was the Flash. I don't see why, you know, somehow they couldn't change the powers around and, you know, give him the power of the Flash, and he could be the one to sacrifice himself because he makes some sort of deal with the Monitor, and I'm sure the Monitor has the ability to switch powers, because that was his whole thing, right? You know, obviously the Book of Destiny wasn't specifically his, but he could do something like that, so I'm thinking Oliver's sacrifice could be him actually turning into the Flash, because the Flash must sacrifice himself, the Flash must die, and... Oliver will say, Barry, that's part of his deal. Obviously, he has to do all this mission stuff at the moment that he's doing on Arrow. But I think that's a really, really great idea. I think you guys need to think about that because I think it's very logical and it would make sense as to how Barry would survive. And with, you know, the future change and everything like that, I think it's possible. Also, I quickly wanted to talk about Reverse Flash. So, they finished shooting the crossover, right, as far as I know. And... I haven't seen Reverse Flash anywhere, unless they did some inside scenes, like inside studios. I don't know if he's going to show up. So that was the big thing going back to Season 1. Barry, the Flash missing, vanishes in Crisis. He has a massive fight with the Reverse Flash. There's Shadow Demons. All the heroes are there. The Flash goes missing in this red sort of storm, in this red sky. So with Reverse Flash, as far as I know, not popping up, that means Crisis is completely changed from that newspaper. It's not just the date. Everything that's going down is not going to be, you know, kind of anywhere near what the newspaper actually said. So it's going to be more like the comic books and in Crisis in the comics. Like, Reverse Flash is not going to show up barely if he even does. So I think the next Crisis that Tom as Reverse Flash referenced at the end of last season may be a different episode later down the season. I don't think it's a crisis, I don't think he's going to pop up in crisis because it's so monitor heavy and anti-monitor heavy that they have changed this whole future, so I don't think it's going to be to do with Reverse Flash and The Flash. So that's another thing to talk about and I think it's really possible that he may not show up, so I wouldn't be going in 
expecting a lot of the reverse flash or like any of the reverse flash. Okay, so let's move on to talk about this. So this is another crisis theory. So a lot of people, because of how the monitor has portrayed himself in the past few episodes on Arrow, he was on the Flash, how he came across last season, especially in Nails Worlds, he let these worlds die, he let heroes die essentially. So people have been thinking that maybe the monitor might actually turn out to be the anti-monitor and he's gathering the resources actually to make his antimatter machine that he does in the comics. I think there is a possibility only due to the fact that the monitor and the anti-monitor are literal parallels of themselves. If you've seen how the monitor looks and how the anti-monitor looks, I'll put a comparison on the screen right now. They are obviously the same person and it seems like they're going to be the same height, right? Because when they were shooting, they didn't have like any weird CGI things where they have like dots to make him taller or something like that. Or, you know, put him on stilts or anything like that. So it seems like he's obviously not the crisis version of himself because if you've read the comics, he's sort of like this massive sort of robot-like creature. And this is more like the new 52 run in terms of how the anti-monitor looks. So I think there's a possibility to that theory because... The monitor, as far as I can remember, I haven't read Crisis in about a year, so I need to reread it before it comes, but I'm fairly sure he doesn't actually, you know, round up stuff and he doesn't um, create like an opposite weapon to stop the antimatter cannon that is created by the anti-monitor. So, I think it's possible and I think it may happen. However, the monitor in the comics is kind of similar to the TV show in that he does prepare everyone for crisis in that he does it in a harsh way because he is supposed to be harsh because he is you know telling you your multiverse your earth is going to be destroyed you got to do this he's not just being nice or anything like that so i think it's kind of 60 percent he's just going to be the monitor i think there's like a 40 percent chance because of him getting oliver to gather all the stuff and because he was on those earths that were destroyed, right, back in Elseworlds, I think there is a possibility that he may be the anti-monitor. I would say that's like 40%. Obviously, that's not what happens in the comics, but, you know, they are changing a lot from the comics, so, uh, I mean, anything could happen, really. So, yeah, that's about it for my theories. I just wanted to showcase this poster. This is a fan poster by a online artist called Spider Monkey. He always does really good posters for the Arrowverse and stuff, and I just thought I would show it because it's really great. And I hope they release some posters. They release some promotional photos for Crisis very soon. This just gets me very, very excited. You can see like Barry fading out. You know, his skin peeling off. Oliver is all battered up, and Oliver is dead and the Earths are being destroyed, they're colliding. And I just really like it, so I thought I would give that a shout out in this video. The last thing of this video I wanted to talk about is the photos for a new episode of The Flash, episode five. So the first photo is of Cisco. He's having like a drink or something with Breacher who is returning. So I think he's gonna come with some bad news about Gypsy. I'm pretty sure Gypsy may be dead. I think there's a possibility that, you know, that's one of the reasons why we're probably not gonna see her again. Then we move on to the next photo. We've got Camilla. It seems like a lot of this episode is Cisco orientated, so you've therefore got Camilla in a lot of it. Move on to the next photo, same place, green lighting, something kind of ominous. They are together, maybe doing Camilla's reporting sort of side of her. And then we go to Star Labs, we've got the Harrison Wells who has returned, the new Harrison Wells, and he's got all this stuff on his sort of Indiana Jones-like. He is in Star Labs, if you remember last episode, he thinks he's found that new sort of thing that he's looking for, I think it's Eternium. So that is a big thing, check out Paige's video because he explains his theory, and I think it's pretty good. And yeah, so let's move on to the next photo, we've got Joe. I'm not sure where he is, it looks kind of like a hospital. We've got Camilla and Cisco. they are lying in bed and they get up and it seems like they are met by Breacher because it's the same lighting, so he looks kind of scared in this photo, so this is what leads me to believe something may have happened with Gypsy. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, 
turn on notifications as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers. Also remember guys, Supergirl is on tonight. I'll have my review and trailer breakdown for the next episode out tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.